Heavy wind and large hail is possible on this first alert weather day, which presents a risk of downed trees around our area. And our Lauren Harkison is live tonight speaking with an electrician, Lauren, about how your electrical panel could be impacted and what you, you should do if you experience damage. Yeah, that's right, Steve. Brittany, we often see downed branches or downed trees during stormy weather. Some people even dealing with power outages, but if your lights tend to be off a little bit longer than your neighbors at some point tonight. There could be some damage to your electrical unit. Now, Carrie Adkins, the president of On Time Service, says sometimes falling trees actually knock meter boxes off of homes, cutting the electricity to your house completely. Now, when this happens, a lot of homeowners assume your power company is responsible for repairing the meter, but it's actually not true. Adkins explains that while they are responsible for the power lines that lead to your home, anything on your home, like an electrical meter, is your responsibility. If you notice a tree has fallen and damaged any electrical wires, Adkins warns you to leave the repair to the professionals. Electricity doesn't smell like anything. You can't see it. And if it's not actively shorting out on something, then you don't hear anything. Just because it's down on the ground does not mean that it's off. And so you need to like just stay away from it. Now I checked about 10, 15 minutes ago. And at this point, there are only about 30 power outages uh, with those who have Alabama power across our area. And to see a map of where those outages actually are. And if you'd like to get any updates on outage alerts that might be in your area, you can go to our WBRC News app. We have a link there for you to learn some more information. Live tonight in Birmingham, Lauren Harkson, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.